Did you know that some gardeners actually welcome weeds into their gardens? It sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? For generations, we've waged war against these tenacious invaders. But what if I told you that weeds could be the secret weapon to a thriving, healthy garden? Welcome back to Don't Do This Guide, where we challenge conventional thinking to uncover the hidden wisdom in unexpected places. Today, we're venturing into the world of weeds, but not to eradicate them. Instead, we're going to uncover their surprising benefits and understand why they might be your garden's unsung heroes. Weeds have long endured a bad reputation, often seen as nothing more than unruly adversaries in our quest for a pristine garden. But this perspective, like many things in nature, is not so black and white. Stick around as we explore why you should think twice before you pull that weed. We'll delve into how embracing these tenacious plants might just be the key to unlocking your garden's true potential. Just like a forest floor is blanketed in a layer of leaves and organic matter, Weeds serve a vital role in protecting the very foundation of your garden, the soil. Imagine a heavy downpour. Without a protective layer, raindrops bombard the soil, compacting it and washing away precious topsoil. This erosion can strip the land of vital nutrients, leaving it barren and infertile. Weeds act as nature's ground cover, their leaves and stems intercepting the force of the rain and slowing down runoff. This allows the water to gently percolate into the ground, replenishing the water table and preventing soil erosion. But their benefits don't end there. The dense network of roots found in many weed species acts like a living net, binding the soil together and further preventing erosion. This is particularly crucial in areas prone to strong winds or heavy rainfall. Some weeds, with their deep tap roots, can even reach nutrients and moisture far below the surface, bringing them up to the topsoil where they can be accessed by other plants. This natural tilling action improves soil structure and aeration, creating a more hospitable environment for roots to thrive. So before you curse that patch of clover or dandelion, remember that they might be playing a crucial role in safeguarding your garden's most valuable asset. The plant world communicates in subtle ways, and weeds, those masters of adaptation, can provide valuable insights into the hidden language of your garden. Much like a doctor examines a patient's symptoms to diagnose an ailment, gardeners can learn to read the telltale signs that weeds offer about the health and composition of their soil. For instance, the presence of nitrogen-loving weeds like chickweed or lamb's quarters can indicate a nitrogen deficiency in your soil. These weeds thrive in nitrogen-poor conditions, quickly colonizing areas where other plants struggle. On the other hand, an abundance of weeds like yarrow or chamomile, which prefer alkaline conditions, could signal overly acidic soil. Their presence serves as a natural litmus test, prompting you to adjust the pH balance for optimal plant growth. By paying attention to the types of weeds that flourish in your garden, you gain valuable insights into the underlying conditions of your soil. This knowledge empowers you to make informed decisions about soil amendments, ensuring that your plants have access to the nutrients they need. Rather than viewing weeds as mere intruders, consider them valuable informants, whispering secrets about your garden's needs. In the intricate web of life that makes up a healthy garden, beneficial insects play a crucial role. These tiny creatures, often overlooked, are essential for pollination, pest control, and maintaining a balanced ecosystem. While manicured lawns and perfectly weeded flower beds might seem appealing, they can inadvertently create a monoculture that lacks the diversity needed to support a thriving insect population. Weeds, on the other hand, with their diverse blooms and growth habits, act as beacons, attracting a wide array of beneficial insects to your garden. Imagine a patch of wildflowers buzzing with activity. Bees and butterflies flit from flower to flower, their delicate wings carrying pollen that ensures the continuation of plant life. Ladybugs, those fierce predators with their polka-dotted shells, patrol the undersides of leaves, devouring aphids and other soft-bodied insects that can wreak havoc on your prized roses or tomatoes. Even the humble dandelion, often targeted for eradication, provides an early source of nectar for bees emerging from hibernation, offering a vital lifeline in the early spring. By tolerating a certain level of weeds in your garden, you're not just promoting biodiversity, you're creating a haven for beneficial insects that contribute to the overall health and resilience of your garden. In the tapestry of nature, diversity is fundamental to the health and resilience of ecosystems. Your garden, no matter how small, is a microcosm of this balance. 
A garden dominated by a single plant species is highly susceptible to disease and pest outbreaks. A diverse garden is better equipped to withstand environmental stressors. Weeds play a vital role in increasing plant diversity within your garden. They introduce a wider range of plant species, each with unique characteristics. This diversity creates a more resilient ecosystem that copes with challenges like drought, pests, and disease. Different plant species attract beneficial insects and pollinators, enhancing biodiversity. Embrace the wild beauty and witness the magic of a thriving, resilient ecosystem unfold. The practice of composting, a cornerstone of organic gardening, transforms kitchen scraps and yard waste into nutrient-rich black gold that replenishes and revitalizes garden soil. And those pesky weeds you've been pulling? They can be valuable contributors to this alchemical process. Before you relegate those weeds to the yard waste bin, consider their potential as compost material. Weeds are, after all, plants, and their leaves and stems are teeming with valuable nutrients that can be recycled back into your garden. Adding weeds to your compost pile introduces a diversity of organic matter, which is essential for creating a balanced and nutrient-rich compost. Their nitrogen-rich leaves, in particular, can help to heat up the compost pile, speeding up the decomposition process. However, it's important to exercise caution when composting weeds, especially those that have gone to seed. To prevent the spread of unwanted seeds in your garden, it's best to hot compost weeds, ensuring that the high temperatures achieved during decomposition kill off any viable seeds. By transforming weeds from garden nuisances into valuable compost material, you're not only reducing waste, but also closing the loop in your garden's nutrient cycle. Foraging, the ancient practice of gathering food from the wild, is experiencing a resurgence. Start your foraging adventures in your own backyard, where many weeds offer culinary delight. Dandelion is a nutritional powerhouse. Its leaves can be enjoyed raw in salads or sauteed. The roots can be roasted into a coffee substitute, while the flowers make a delightful addition to fritters or jellies. Purslane, a succulent with a lemony tang, is packed with omega-3 fatty acids. It can be eaten raw in salads or lightly cooked. Even stinging nettle transforms into a culinary delicacy when cooked. The heat neutralizes the stinging compounds, revealing a flavor like spinach. Nettle is rich in iron and vitamins, great for soups, stews, or pesto. Remember to forage responsibly, only harvesting from pesticide-free areas and properly identifying plants before consuming them. Long before the advent of modern medicine, people relied on the healing power of plants to treat a wide range of ailments. And while we're fortunate to have access to modern healthcare, the plant world still holds a treasure trove of medicinal properties, often overlooked and underestimated. Many weeds, dismissed as mere nuisances, possess potent medicinal properties that have been used for centuries in traditional medicine systems around the world. Plantain, a common weed found in lawns and pathways, has been used for generations to soothe insect bites, burns, and skin irritations. Its leaves contain anti-inflammatory and antimicrobial compounds that help to reduce swelling and promote healing. Chamomile, with its delicate daisy-like flowers, is renowned for its calming and sleep-promoting properties. A cup of chamomile tea before bed can help to ease anxiety, promote relaxation, and improve sleep quality. Even dandelion, that ubiquitous symbol of resilience, possesses medicinal benefits. Its leaves act as a diuretic, helping to flush excess water from the body, while its roots have been traditionally used to support liver health. It's important to note that while many weeds have a long history of use in traditional medicine, it's crucial to consult with a qualified healthcare professional before using any plant for medicinal purposes. So there you have it, seven compelling reasons why weeds might just be the unsung heroes of your garden. From their role in protecting your soil to their ability to attract beneficial insects, add biodiversity, and even provide food and medicine, weeds offer a surprising array of benefits. The next time you see a weed sprouting in your garden, take a moment to appreciate the role it plays in the intricate web of life you're cultivating. Instead of reaching for the weed killer, consider how you might work with nature, rather than against it, to create a healthier, more resilient, and ultimately more rewarding garden. Thanks for joining us on Don't Do This Guide. If you found this exploration of weeds enlightening, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more unconventional wisdom that challenges the status quo. 
and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy gardening, and remember, sometimes the most valuable lessons come from the things we least expect.